And that's it with your buying tips for Italian motorcycles. But enough of the boring anorak facts already because it's time to get back to the metal with this, Aprilia's Tuono. But what is it? Is it a retro? Is it a muscle bike? Who cares? There's no need to pigeonhole this bike. All you need to know is it's an absolute stormer. The formula that Aprilia have used to produce the Tuono is hardly a new one. After all, manufacturers have been ripping the fairings off their big sports bikes and slapping on flat bars for donkey's years now. But it's not the method that achieves the result that matters, it's the quality of the result they've ended up with. And in the case of the Tuono, you'll be pleased to know that quality is very good indeed. Why so good? Well, for starters, Aprilia have avoided blousing out and vastly detuning their Superbike motor here before putting it in the Tuono. That's an absolutely marvellous thing. It might mean that you'll struggle a little bit above 120 mile an hour, but to be honest, who'd want to go there with just that little bikini fairing for company? The important thing to note is the motor is a stormer. Then there's the chassis. It's exactly the same as the standard RSV Millet, which as we know is one of the finest handling bikes you can buy out of the crates today. Handling this good is almost overkill on a bike like this. Only almost though. After all, you can never have too much of a good thing. And once you start throwing the Tuono about, you'll be very glad of the quality of handling that's available. You can take some serious cornering liberties and blast happily out the other side thanks to the safety blanket this chassis gives you. Throw in a riding position that handles town and everyday stuff as well as it does back road hammering, and you've got a very potent tool indeed, as it were. And then there are the wheelies. Oh boy, yes. So there you have it. Fun, stupidity, punchy motor, great handling all in one package. Tuono's absolutely rock. But now for the final conclusion. Starting with performance, the Tuono's gonna get an eight out of 10. It's not gonna be the outright fastest bike on the market, thanks to the fact you're sat upright and kinda in the breeze. Although that little bikini fairing does do a very good job. Styling, I'm gonna go for a seven out of 10. I really like the way this bike looks. But not everyone agrees. There are other people out there who seem to think it looks like a pig in knickers. Comfort, eight out of 10. Absolutely, supremely, beautifully, sumptuously comfortable. Reliability, seven out of 10. That's a melee motor in there, and on the whole, they are generally very good. Although on occasion, I have seen the old one here and there go pop under duress. Value for money, 7,300 pounds for one of these is an absolute steal, nine out of 10. So there we have it, three very different ways of approaching the Italian sports bike theme. Between this lot, they'll all offer you some rather different things.